I'm back. Today we're gonna talk about my Diva Curl products that I bought after I got my Diva Cut. I really loved my Diva Cut. I got it about two weeks ago and I'm so happy with the results. My hair just feels fuller and better. I'm just gonna give you guys a review of the products because now I've used them consistently and I really want to tell you guys everything about it and share my insight about it with you guys. So we're just gonna get into it. I feel like a lot of people think that Diva Girl products are only for black hair and it's really not. It's for all girls who have curly hair. Their products are also sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Sulfate, if you guys don't know, is a salt that's acidic, so having shampoo with sulfate in it is actually really bad for your hair. Sulfate also dries out your hair, which is probably why you have like dry ends or split ends really quickly because you're probably using products that have sulfate in them. Paraben, on the other hand, is a chemical compound that is universally used to preserve cosmetic and pharmaceutical products. Paraben is also well known for hair damage, so that is probably why, like I said earlier, with the sulfate that your hair is dried out, it's not smooth, it's not moisturized. Silicone is a chemical substance that is not easily damaged by heat or water. It gives that illusion of that shine that you want in your hair, but at the same time it's fake, so it's not a good thing for your hair. It damages it as well. You probably don't want to use any more silicone products because it is fake, it's plastic, that is not good for your hair. As as someone who never used to read the ingredients on hair products, definitely start doing that. It will make a difference in your hair. Knowing what you're buying, make sure you buy sulfate, silicone, and paraben-free products. So now let's actually get into the review aspect of it. <laughs> no poo. No poo is Diva Curl shampoo, and I got the decadence because my hairdresser told me that that was what's good for my hair type. I normally have like loose curls. This is a braid out today, so you're not gonna see my curl pattern, but it's so much better for your hair. I'm not even like here to front on y'all. Like I had heat damage from straightening my hair for so long and I had to do a big chop. So that's why I'm starting to like use products that actually are good for my hair. I don't wanna end up with like long damaged hair ever again. On the bottle it says Zero Lather Ultra Moisturizing Milk Cleanser. And what I really love is the fact that it's milk based. On all the products I'm going to read the same question and all the answers are different. And the question is, is it for me? So for the answer it says, if you have curly or super curly hair that craves extra moisture, this is just what you need. And I agree with this because my hair was so dry when when I went in for the cut, the hairdresser was like, what are you doing with your hair? You're treating it terribly and he wasn't wrong. So now I'm starting to really take care of my hair and make it one of my priorities. So the pro of this product is that it smells really good. A con, obviously, is the price. I do not want to pay $22 for a 12 ounce bottle, but one thing I do love about the shampoo and conditioner is that you don't have to use it as often as the other products. You don't need to wash your hair every day, and I made that mistake because I used to do the wash and go all the time, so I put a bunch of conditioner in there, and obviously that's not good for your hair. Knowing that, and knowing how often I'm gonna use these products, it's not that bad, especially since it's actually sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. If I were to rate this product, I would rate it a 4.5. It's really good, it's just kind of expensive, but you know what? Beauty is pain and beauty is money and beauty is beauty. So, conditioner. The conditioner is awesome. This is 32 ounces and it cost $44 and I was so obviously I was not in the mood to buy this, but I bought a bigger one because I know it will last me a lot longer. And look, she's bigger than my face. So a pro tip when using this conditioner, the hairdresser told me that I could actually saturate the conditioner with water and just apply it on my hair. And he said it was because of my curl pattern. So if you guys do have a looser curl pattern, I would also suggest just saturating it with water. You'll save money. So when I use this conditioner, I just detangle my hair with my fingers. And that has honestly been awesome. I I know I don't have to tug as hard with my fingers, I just have to slowly glide it through and it's been awesome to finger detangle because I'm not ripping out any hair really, it's just detangling it which is awesome. When you're washing your hair after using the conditioner, you actually don't have to rinse it all out which is also amazing because it is sulfate, silicone, and paraben free. I bet y'all love me saying that now. So the question 
question again. Is it for me? I don't know why I'm doing a British accent today. If you have curly or super curly hair that craves a lot of extra moisture, then this is just what you need for that soft frizz-free curl. Believe it or not, I was gonna say my pro is that it moisturizes your hair, so. We covered that. A con of this product is that you low-key do have to use a couple pumps of it, like a couple couple pumps. I use like seven or eight pumps. That is also me because I love conditioner and I love leaving my hair moisturized. So if you guys do not use that much conditioner, don't worry about it. The only time I ever saturate the product is when I do a braid out. So I just put a pump of the conditioner in a spray bottle and some water and just spray it on my hair, braid my hair, tie it in a bonnet and go to bed. So that's the tea on the one conditioner decadence conditioner. What? Okay. Ooh, what's next? We'll never know. Okay. Believe in. One of my favorite products. I love it. There's some downsides though. I'll, I'll get into it. Don't worry. I got you. Okay, I got some out. It's like a gel, so you can see that. Oh, yes, that smell though. This bottle cost $20. This bottle cost $20. It's basically like the leave-in conditioner, but it's a gel consistency. I really love it. After you get out of the shower or washing your hair, you just put some of this on and it just adds that extra shine that is silicone free. Is it for me? If you want to bring out your natural curls, plump them up and add moisture and shine, this is exactly what you're looking for. A pro of this product is that it smells like Skittles. You can just sniff this. Okay, maybe not straight out of the bottle, but when you put it on your hair, it smells like Skittles. Another pro of this product is that you do not need to use that much. It's just a couple squeezes and you're good to go. Another pro about this product is that the gel-like consistency holds the curls for a long time. It really does a good job of holding the curls up and like giving it a real life texture that isn't like nasty. The con of the product is that it is $20. This is the most expensive in my opinion because you're getting so little and I use this one often, especially if I'm doing a wash and go, I'm definitely going to revert to using this versus using gel now that I know that I shouldn't be using sulfate and silicone products. It will run out quickly, especially if I do the wash and go often. Lucky enough, I don't do it often, but if you do the wash and go often and you want to use this product, you will run out so quick. If I had to rate this product, I got to give it a four out of five. Like I love the actual product what's in the bottle I don't like how much I have to pay for the bottle though you feel me like styling cream Ooh, aha if you weren't excited before I know you're excited now because once I mentioned styling cream everybody's like the styling cream is 5.1 ounces and retails for $26 Obviously, y'all know that styling cream is kind of more on the expensive side of things, but $26 for 5.1 ounces when this Believe In is 6 ounces and costs 20 so it's a little expensive. What I do like about this product, though, is that it left my curls pop in. Like, I mean, it actually styled it. I had the styling cream in my hair for four days. The guy said, too, I had it in for four days, and I promise you my curls were looking amazing. I slept in a bonnet and, like, tossing and turning like I am a mover when I sleep but it left my hair perfect so I'm gonna read the question on the back again you know the deal I don't need to tell you what the question is if you're looking for a moisturizing alternative to gel that'll give your curls frizz free touchable hold this product is the product of your dreams they're right. A pro of this product, unlike the conditioner that I told you guys about, you only need about three to four pumps. It's not that much. Most styling creams, you need to like get it all up in there. On top of that, you don't have to use this every single day. If you do a wash and go today, then you can put in the styling cream and have it last for about two, three days, depending on how long you want it to last and if you want to wash it out or not. It is up to you, you get to control the styling cream. The styling cream does not control you. The con of the product is if you use this too much, then it does leave like weird chunky white bits in your hair. You know like certain conditioners that leave white stuff in your hair? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't even have to get into detail about it. But it will do that to your hair if you use too many pumps, which is also why it's great. You don't need to use too many pumps, and if you do use too many pumps, it doesn't look good. So it's just a great way to save money honestly at the same time i gotta give this product a four out of five just because it is so much 
money. The only thing that makes me feel good about buying this product is that I don't have to use it as often as I use the Believe In. So I'm kind of losing with the Believe In, but my hair is winning. My hair is the happiest it has been in a long, long time. So can't even complain. So if you guys want me to do a wash and go routine with these products and tell you guys more about it, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and I will definitely get onto it as soon as I go back to campus. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I gave y'all some tips, some tricks for your hair, especially if you buy these products. I want you guys to buy them and know what you're getting yourself into. So if this is a little longer than expected, I am so sorry. But I just had to let y'all know the tease. Uh, on that note, <laughs>